the heroes and heroines of this conference. <laughs> we are the change makers and we create destinies. Not only our own and our families, but we create destinies of the world. Would you agree with that? Yes. yes. Feel good, feel strong. You were born to perform. Okay? You're yes. a performing artist. May not be Hollywood, may not be Bollywood, but certainly is the classroom. Your theater is the most powerful one, and your audience is ever changing. And we as performers and as heroes and heroines try our best to do what we love to do. There is passion, there is emotion, there is love, and there is affection. You agree with that? Yes. There's no point being a teacher if you don't love every kid, and before that, you don't love yourself. So for me, to love myself is the first criteria of being a teacher, and the second one is to love you, the others, right? And that is the second one. And the third one is to love the unknown. Personal, interpersonal, and intrapersonal. I do hope that as this evening proceeds, <coughs> last but not the least, this session will be the best and the strongest. All, of that, all that I wanted to say was that we began uh, in this country or any country as national schools. They became international schools and today I would like to call them universal schools. Because neither the teacher nor the child has changed in his aspirations, in his becoming someone to lift the world and lift himself the same emotions, the same wounds, and the same abilities and common potentials range from where to where. I as an Indian feel so good when I'm in another country because I'm able to relate. I'm able to relate because I'm a teacher. And I have recognized diversity in my class before diversity became a well-known word in the world. I recognized that all children are not the same. Today I realize that all children in all countries are not the same. You believe that? Yes. So when you're pushed to teach the underprivileged in a class or a school or those who can't really walk or talk or think or behave exactly in the same way as others, we feel very, very funny about it, isn't it? And we talk about creating strategies in the classrooms to deal with the diversity. But dear friends, we all know even the teachers are not the same. So to begin with, we not only need that training to teach with the diverse classrooms and the diversities in the nations, I'm sure the universal education will address or is already addressing that whether you're a Chinese or a Japanese or an Indian or a Pakistani, you are dealing with the same kinds of issues in every class. So when you are talking about assessment, whether it is summative or it is cumulative or it is rote learning or it is application or it is understanding or it is analysis or it is synthesis, I think the same rules, laws apply everywhere. And the best practices must be picked up. We don't have to have divides. We need to have pluses. We need to understand what is the best in England? What is the best in America? What is the best in Scotland? What is the best in Australia? So that one day we will not just have international education, but we will have a universal board to which you and I will belong. Thank you.